Do you ever go shopping for strawberries and pick the box that has the largest strawberry in it that's malformed till it's shaped like a heart? Well, that's what I hope we find in this beer today. It's strawberry number 23. Let's see what makes this beer tick by taking a look at the can. I love this artwork of the Roman numerals 23 into a strawberry shape. Definitely reminds me of those giant strawberries I love. Yellow can, I love this design here with the wrapping. This is um, by Wild Mine Ales in collaboration with New Image Brewing. Very interesting, got this out of a toy bore crate. It's a sour ale with strawberry, passion fruit, lemon, hibiscus, and vanilla. Don't see a lot of that going around here, especially hibiscus. It'd be interesting to see if any of that lasts because this is an old canning date of November 24th, 2020. Oh boy. Thanks, Tavor. I really hope that this tastes good. It has a lot of promise in it. 4.5% alcohol, so very mild. I have refrigerated it, but once again, you never know with Tavor. So let's find out what we get right now. It's the moment of truth. Let's see how this looks and tastes. It has been rolled. So if there's any fruit hanging out, hopefully we get it. All right, starting off with what I call a strawberry or cherry color in my lambics or beers. Very nice color. A little bit see-through. Let's go to the nose. All right, I'm getting a little bit of a floral note. Maybe it's the hibiscus. Maybe it's the vanilla. Getting the strawberry for sure. A little bit of funky note, maybe from the lemon or the passion fruit. Gotta remind myself what's in this thing, it's got a lot. All right, let's see if it holds up on the palate. First sip, the strawberry wants to come forward, but the vanilla won't let it. Not as tart as I would like it. Almost feels like there's too much going on here. And the hibiscus, I would say, is the finish. There's a floral note at the end. And I describe it as floral because it reminds me of almost like a, a gentle potpourri flavor. Um, not bad, but not, not the best. Finishes is like a, almost a honey, honeysuckle kind of a flavor to it. Definitely the hibiscus kind of growing on me. I kind of like it. I'm going to sip on it a little while longer and then we'll rank it. This beer is a great idea, but I think there's too much going on here. Passion fruit I can usually pull out, not finding it in here. Uh, maybe tartness from lemon. Strawberry does come forward a little bit and strawberry is a hard flavor I found for people to get right and I think they've almost about got it right here. This beer is a little older, but I got to go with what I'm tasting here out of the can. Um, the honey hibiscus flavor at the end is kind of grown on me. It's kind of nice. It's different. It's refreshing. This does have a little bit of a dry finish on it. Um, it's good, but I've had way better. Um, I would love a fresh can of this just to just to see how much different it is than this. This is gonna get. Mm, we're gonna go a three on untap for me. It just, like I said, too much going on here. Don't know if it's the age or if it's just all these, you know, ingredients in here. Well, that does it for Strawberry 23. If you have any good strawberry beers you'd like to recommend, let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to check out our Instagram and our untapped accounts, Brewmatures. And until next time, you know who we are. Trying every beer from around the world, one sip at a time. <laughs>